When General Tarsus died, she was given a hero's burial, laid to rest as one will do for those who are of royal blood. It was said in the volume of Tarsus that she died as she brought down the mountains upon the escaping Orgot. During the critical path of Anthem, freelancers in the Arcanist discovered and visited the tomb of the late general. But is Tarsus really dead? If so, what about life after death, or could the dead return to the land of the living, materialize, or return to the flesh? While the volume of Tarsus confirmed the death of Elena, there was another entry that either conflicts with it, or supports other possibilities in Bastion. It was said that Tarsus was spotted near Ansha, prompting the belief that she would rise again and inspiring the construction of Elena's Walk Temple. Claiming that Elena was seen is a very big part of the story and is something that we may end up uncovering in the future. It's either Elena was too hurt and tired of fighting that she faked her own death and her close allies supported that idea. Or it could be that she really died and what was seen by those individuals near Ansha was a spirit an astral form of a pure or heroic being. If Elena had faked her own death, then she still would have died a natural death due to old age. The events of the Orgot invasion occurred over 500 years ago. This means she would have been about the age of 530 or 525 or so. Now, unless the power of the Anthem blesses someone with the gift of eternal life or long life, Death in Bastion is still inevitable. Once you get old, you die. Blessings of the Anthem, however, is something that could support my next theory. The people who claim that they saw Elena could have some form of affinity to the Anthem, spiritual, and are able to see astral forms of dead beings just like a cipher's projection. Maybe something similar to the visions at the end of the Legionnaire's Trials. There was a story about a girl, the first cipher, who was connected to the cipher's link. It was said that her mind ventured out too far from her body and she became lost to the music of the anthem. Cyphers, till this day, claim that they see her while using the amplifier. They say she watches over those who travel, guiding them back from where she never returned. So this is one of those things that we can also see here, proving that life still does exist after death. From this, it's showing us that you need to have some sort of connection to the Anthem, or the Anthem of Creation must have chosen you before you can have this form of life beyond death. It is possible that those who claim that they saw Elena Tarsus saw her astral form. She had been tested and found worthy. She is now in a different plane, a place invisible to the naked eye, only visible to those who are gifted or connected to that level of the Anthem. She could have helped the freelancers on the journey back to the Heart of Rage. All our heroic deeds, defeating the Monitor, silencing the Cenotaph, all this could have been guided by the invisible hand of Elena Tarsus. This is showing us that death is not the end in Bastion, and perhaps the battle continues on a different plane, a place where the dead fight amongst each other. So here is a big question, is it possible to return from this plane to become whole again. Yes, it is possible, but on a certain circumstance. It is probable if the body is still there. Maybe if the spirit returned to the body few hours or days before the body is being buried. Centuries of absence means there is no body to come back to, just bones, hair, and sand. This means the only other option is to either materialize and that is something that we know is possible. Using Shaper Relics, one can manipulate and siphon the power of the Anthem, use it to create new beings and new life. Some of the beasts in Bastions were created by the Shapers using the Relics. Everything in Bastion was once created by the Anthem and is still being created by the Anthem. Therefore, new flesh and bones can still be made. With the relics having the power to split one individual, such as Matthias, into three different parts, we know that all this is possible. But the next question lies in the knowledge of this. Is there anyone alive with the knowledge of manipulating the Ember? While I do not like to demean Matthias's knowledge of the Ember or his knowledge of 
relics and shaper energy. The royal family of Bastion have that knowledge locked in as well, something that is a lot more refined. And if not them, then grey-eyed Idris, the master of Arden Vasa, must have had many other apprentices as well, and Arden Vasa himself must have passed down some of this knowledge to those who are not within his bloodline. So we're looking at different ways and different places or individuals who could have knowledge of bringing someone back to life. Perhaps maybe the Dominion even know someone or have a scientist with them who is capable of doing these things. Maybe a machine can be built equipped with a signet and a link. Maybe an ascended spirit can now possess that machine or an animal, take form and visit the world and live again. So far we know that death is not the end in Bastion, and while some are considered gone, their spirits still live on, just in a different plane, a place where we cannot see them with the naked eye. So let me know what you guys think about this. What are your thoughts about life after death in Bastion? Do you think certain individuals who we thought are dead could possibly come back in the future? Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.